definitely the CFO is one of the most important trusted advisor for me. Uh, we have a permanent dialogue, uh, David and I, uh, and I may say that uh, this last uh, couple of years, given the fast changing environment in which we are living in, uh, our dialogue has been more and more frequent uh, and getting deeper uh, and deeper. So that's a dialogue I really enjoy a lot and which is extraordinarily important in Accenture. Uh, we obviously have to respect and trust each other. Uh, we have to have a strong sense that we can talk openly to each other. I have to feel as CFO uh, that I can share uh, with Pierre what he needs to hear. Is if I had to give a, you know, a recommendation on this, trust, transparency, permanent dialogue, open book, this is uh, what you need uh, to uh, organize with the, the CFO. To some extent, we are uh, creating a new chapter in our relationship, but based on, on, on amazing trust and transparency. And again, call a cat a cat, sing straight, talk straight. Uh, believe me, I mean, David is a straight talker and he's calling a cat a cat, especially with me. And this is what I would definitely recommend to uh, any uh, other organization. I mean, the reality between the relationship between David and I is not exactly that simple, if you will. Uh, when we're talking about strategy or, or with execution, I mean, sometimes, even most of the time, David will be a key contributor to the strategy thinking, and sometimes I'm a pretty good CFO. Uh, right, David? <laughs> I think when Pierre is, is thinking about strategy, where we want to take the business, uh, when he's thinking about leadership decisions, how we want to structure the organization, he looks to me you know, and relies on me to have a point of view. If I had to qualify what David and I are doing, you know, uh, in any team, you will need a coach and a team captain. One day, I'm the coach, he's the team captain. Another day, depending on where we are, uh, it's going to be the other way around. But at the end of the day, our role is to mobilize the rest of the leadership uh, to get the best of what people uh, will, have to, uh, will have to contribute. Yes, when you talk about conflict, of course the best way to deal with conflict is to, is to get prepared. It's not to avoid difficult situations, but the more you are prepared in advance to tackle the big issues, uh, uh, the less you're going to be uh, putting yourself in, in, in a tough rat hole, uh, uh, if you will. And I guess, again, the fact that you have a permanent dialogue on everything, then you avoid pushing problems aside. And problems, as you know, they always catch up with you. And then you have a bigger uh, problem to, uh, uh, to, to address. We have tough, com complex issues to deal with. And where we have multiple views, uh, at the end of the day, we make a decision, and once we make a decision, then as a leadership team, we all get behind it. Technology is playing a, 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 a very significant disruptive role today. Uh, we all heard about the famous SMAC, Social Mobile Analytics Cloud. This combination of the new technology totally uh, changing the world, and pushing all of us to reinvent the way we lead, the way we operate, and the way we serve our clients.